Let's dive for Eric Play City Skylines 2, Milford County. Let's get this uh, audio unmuted. Let's get this game re expanded. There we go, maximized, I should say. We last left off to this madness over here. Um, where there's just all these people coming out of the train station, all these people want to catch a bus, they're walking everywhere, it's bananas. Um, but we have basically fixed, eh, fixed might be a strong word, but we fixed mass transit in this area, essentially. Um, so, I think what I'd like to fur- how is- how do we have traffic already over here? What in the heck? Okay, I guess we created a new place where people want to come into the uh, community. Um, this might... <laughs> this, this may be in unavoidable in, to some degree. Um, because these are both... Well, this is a highway here. Uh, we we definitely want people to uh, to have to stop at a stop sign for the highway. We don't. We definitely don't want people just like jumping on the highway. Um. Yeah, most of the people are going are making left turns. It looks some people are making right turns, but a lot of people are making left turns. So for the people making lefts, maybe we also allow another intersection here. What have we got going right now? This one does. This is just a yield. Okay, maybe we just make it a yield. Let's let's try. Let's try and see how that works. Because we now have traffic from both directions, I'm not sure, but let's see. Yield that. Go. Cars have to take a minute to figure out what they want. Yeah, I think it's probably too busy for a yield to make sense. Um... Just give it a minute here to see what happens. <laughs> Some of the cars up there haven't gotten the memo yet. Does this car get to go now? He does. Yeah, cars just disappearing. All right. I think with the amount of traffic we have coming, this doesn't work. This is, uh, we need to probably urbanize this highway, at least partly, and, um, Yeah, this one's okay. This one doesn't really have a lot of traffic on it. Um, so there's not too much contention. There's just enough that it's starting to pile things up over here. Well, the thing is, do we have to necessarily... We don't necessarily have to urbanize the highway, but we do have to change this connection here. Um, also, let's see. All right, I'm going to pause this for a minute. We have to get rid of some road. And 
what I'm gonna say, because we have a, a road that's like this, even though it's not a true like expressway or highway, and it, it still it still has this kind of loading thing. This needs to be made a little bit wider. Okay. Good. Now we've got that. So, like, but what if I want to go over there? Well, we'll take care of that. Um, let's see. Let's do... I'm going to do this side first. So we're going to go... One way. Continuous curve. We're going to go... Great. Go across. Then going to Whoa. Now let's get rid of this crossing. Oops. They've got a light to come in. Um, maybe what we do is for just a little bit, we make it a six lane road. All right, maybe I have to get rid of this for a second. Got a six lane road there. Come back to our one way. And maybe he. Goes in like that. Did that fix anything? Let me see. No, it was too early, I think, maybe? Let me see.
Maybe I'll start from here and then I will turn it around. Um, why would this require any traffic lights or any of this? This doesn't make sense to me. This is what makes me nervous that I'm missing something. Who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre? Let us move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly angry. Now off of here. My dear Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise. Do right, so I'm going to come. Life devoted to the gentle arts. Out. Though I do thank you for the honor. Mm. Uh, but I digest. I'm going to become two because what I want to do is have my homeland, I long to hear two one that comes in here, my one that comes in there. So, hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. Mm. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor. Uh, we definitely don't want people trying to do UEs across this. Bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations okay. within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. Okay. What we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delay. All right, so we've got that. We've got that. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere. So if you're coming here, you want to go this side. Plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait now. Or you want to go the other way? You can. Besides, if I did that, um, and then if you're on this highway, and you want to go that way, you can. All right, I think we're fine. These folks can go right. Can go left. And these folks can go up there. Um. Ah, okay. Uh, these folks don't want them to be make a left. They still can for some reason. There we go. Nope. There we go. But I don't want these people to make a left onto here either. Um. This can just go. Nope, it's not what I wanted. Over there.
There we go. say no left turns here please thank you and get on at Kent if you want and from there you can go in either direction that's fine all right so once those people that were already programmed to do a left turn stop doing a left turn, we should be okay. <laughs> Alright, so now... I think the only reason for the traffic is that they haven't... figured out where they want to go yet. Something. I think once these cars just stop trying to make a left that they're not supposed to make anymore, they'll stop blocking traffic. Okay. I think that partially fixes it, but I also... Let me see, where's every, where are all these people mostly going? Yeah, they're mostly basically making a left turn through the loop. Um, but I will give them the option of coming this way to the highway. There we go. So, they have a few different options. Alright. So that takes care of that. What I'd like to do is take a look at... Glade is pretty big. <coughs> High school can definitely be created. like to do is um, further expand a um, residential area. I'm just kind of see, trying to see where do I want to do it. Zoom in here really quickly. Must have been an accident or something. I don't see a reason for that. All right. So coming back to Empire Glade, which has a train station. 
has quite a few uh, lines that run through it. Let's go ahead and add station services. All right, cool. People like that. Um. Looks like I was getting kind of weird about stuff here, but all right. So we've got um, Primrose Street here. I think what I'd like to do with Primrose. All right, let's first let's fix this weird intersection here if we can. There we go. All right. Um, I was thinking of doing like a couplet here, but I'm not 100% sure exactly how that should connect in so that we don't make crazy traffic. All right, so let me start by doing, I'm going to do All right, I don't know 100% uh, if this is the best way to do them, but I'm going to have this going one way, going up this way. Um, I'm going to Bring these across. I've definitely seen roads like this when I've been out and about driving. I know these types of roads exist. They can be a little, sometimes a little annoying to figure out exactly where you are. You know what? Do I want to connect every single one of these? I don't think I do. Uh, let's do every other. I messed up my pattern there and maybe upset that house for no reason. Yep, something, something weird is going on there. All right, anywho. All right, so by pattern, this should connect here as well. Okay. So now, I'm going to make this one a one-way street going in the opposite direction. There we go. What does that do over here? I think it's fine. I don't like this weird bend here. I think I just need to bring this out a little bit further. This is kind of a bonkers intersection, though. Let's see. Um... You know what? I uh, will leave it like that and we'll see what happens. All right, so we've got that. So now I want to make like a mostly residential neighborhood over here. Um, but uh, I think a long. Uh, so, this, so these are basically collector, a uh, collector couplet. So I'm going to make one more um, pa pa parallel, parallel road. Uh, let's see, let's just keep this going. There we go. Um, and I'm just gonna bring it out a bit more. I can. And I can't. There we go. Alright, so we will grab just a regular street. It'll come about right there and go up. connections or continue them I guess uh, da, 
I messed up here, but I'm going to leave it. Probably would break some other pattern somewhere. Issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. All right, so local public service announcement. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. I think what I'm going to do here is kind of go Levitated tastes. out to maybe there. We're not going to make another connection to the bottom. Sources tell us that right, and then we're just going to go up. More services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means right, we'll bring things close enough. This guy over. No, the point is we are selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could Okay, we'll figure this we out. Positive trade balance and the economy is yeah. booming. More after this. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife right. tells me. That's good. So I'm going to do commercial along the bottom here. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. And I will bring in a spot of parking, perhaps modest. Yeah. Right. And then. On behind these, we're going to do uh, row homes. Let's do European row homes. Right. And that's that's essentially going to provide like a little for zone I think uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is since we have finished off our office I mean our um, business I'm gonna throw some offices in throw one there maybe maybe let one take root there um, up there all right we'll let that go all right Uh, so next, I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to do a single family home neighborhood. And right off from this one, we're going to go maybe about there and up. You know what, before I close this off, let's see, I'm gonna make a district, so kind of set how big I want this thing to be. We're gonna go, I'm gonna say maybe to there. It's gonna be a fairly narrow neighborhood. I'm gonna come down. Okay, so Sterling, and then this is gonna have a school. Um, I'm gonna put the school right there. And let's restrict it. All right, we caught it before too many students moved in. All right, this will be... Sterling. Uh, and then uh, what we're going to do is kind of a little bit here. We're going to do a pedestrian street. 
And then we're going to grab the gymnasium and put it right on the other side of that pedestrian street. So that way they're not crossing a literal street to go to the gym. Um, and we will draw a little pathway from the school. Just going right like that. Yep. And so all they have to watch out for is like emergency vehicles and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And we will do a regular road here. And then back here we will put some put some trees. little forested area here. Actually, what I'll do here is get rid of you guys. Come on. So I can use the line tool. Somehow feel like I messed up there. There we go. there. We'll plant some more on this side of the gymnasium. Perfect. All right. And then for the school, we'll do another couple lines of trees. And go back to normal, maybe normal-ish, and we'll do bushes. Okay. Now we've got that settled, let's drop in a high school. This time, what I'm going to do right here is just have a couple apartment buildings. I say it's a very EU inspired neighborhood. All right, and now, oh, I gotta lock this high school. start making our single family homes I think for this part of the neighborhood I'm just gonna have the single family homes kind of like spawn right next to each other and then the next block over I will see if I can um, kind of space them out a bit more All right, so there we go with that. Hopefully that helps some of these people over here that we're complaining about not having enough customers, unless they don't really not have enough customers, but in fact, don't have enough materials. All right. So I'm gonna do one more row, and then I think that'll be it for this session. It'll be a slightly shorter session this time.
at least these homes, they do kind of have like this natural little area behind them. Maybe, now I'm not as patient with detailing as City Planner Plays is, but perhaps I will come back at some point and, um, and I will try and add some bushes or something there. I'm just going to make some, some small lots. Uh, this tends to help with affordability in the city. Um, if you get a lot of like people saying they can't afford to live there. I, I know some of that was from before when... Or, um... Plus order fixed... Uh, fixed the, the bugs, but... I still think that's probably at least partially true. I'm just kind of varying lot size. I mean, it is a pattern, but I am varying lot sizes just to kind of... Um, have some variety in the community, not just everything the same. Maybe here I'll kind of like go smaller, 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 and then bigger. Definitely not putting a dent in that uh, demand meter. There's definitely a lot of demand for single-family homes, but um, so this kind of reminds me of my neighborhood where there's like houses of pretty much every size. We've got like really big houses and really small houses, um, so it's not like one of those neighborhoods where like everybody's rich or everybody's poor. It's kind of a mix of income levels, or at least a mix of house affordability, house affordability levels. Those two ended up side by side, that's okay. All right, last little block to do here, and then I'll, I'll finish the connection up here, I'll do something down there, and then we'll do our drive through, and that'll be it. So I'm gonna make all of these go all the way back, and what I'm gonna vary is how wide they are. Oh, that ended up with two. Can we have a one? No, I don't think we can. That's row houses. These are all going to be tiny ones. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. It's definitely um, a different personality type uh, for um, City Planner plays. That he likes to go in afterwards and add all the trees and stuff like that. I, I mean, I, I think under perhaps slightly different circumstances, I might enjoy it. Like if the City Skylines was never buggy, if I could just drop the trees and they would come in as I expected them to, but. But I don't, I don't enjoy that. A raison d'etre. Mm, All right. My I'm going to see what we got going back here. We've got a... Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music... Oh, I think I probably have a uh, bus stop. I do have a bus stop there. Okay. I I did I did say this was going to be we work in mass transit, and I I should I, I did intend to work on that, but that's going to have to be next episode. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in this set of districts here. We're we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry right. in the region is on the rise and when Do I connect here or do I... Our There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. I might let it go another block before we connect out, just to kind of try and keep the traffic reasonable. 
All right, so I think that's pretty good. Um, they are almost maxed out here. All right, maybe really quickly before I finish or, you know, stop. Well, first, let me, before I forget, I want to use this area as my title. There we go. All right. So, um, and we'll be back here for the drive later. Now what's causing traffic? Oh. Uh, people coming in out of the incineration plant, huh? Well, I have an answer for that. Gonna back this guy up. Can't yet, hold on. this guy up. Uh, right, back. No, okay. Uh, turn off. Oops, turn off snapping. kind of silly to have me just have him load right off of that, wasn't it? And so we will... You know, we don't need sidewalks, do we? So we will... Uh, you know what? Maybe we do... I think if we do a medium road because of the amount of trucks but I don't think that helps us at all so we'll just grab a two lane road there you go that should help now let's re-establish our connection back here should solve the traffic issue. Um, kind of. You know what, there's probably not going to be that much going on here, so maybe we make this a rounded boot. There we go. We don't have to wait. And probably... Same here, so this is a big way in. Let the sim figure itself out. Is this car parked here? This is ridiculous. All right, so that's moving. These cars haven't quite figured themselves out yet. I'm sure it will be fine. All right. 
So I just wanted to really quickly look at the schools. We are still behind on elementary school provision. They're okay. They are just about full. They're okay. All right, this is uh, Kent, uh, which is here. Okay. So technically, that's fine. Um, this one is for Pearl Brook. This one's also for Pearl Brook. And it's just about full. This one's just about full. This one has been full. This one's almost full. This one is full. No, it's not. Almost full. Alright. So, I think these folks need another extension wing if they can fit one. There we go. What does that put me at? 600? If I had the big elementary school... This is a thousand. Alright. I think what we're gonna do... Is... This is for Pearlbrook only, right? Okay. I think this is worth... Moving some things. Alright, so this guy's gonna come over here. Uh, we're gonna demolish this road. These buildings. We're gonna get a big elementary school, which is gonna go right there. And we're going to immediately say this is only for Pearl Brook. We're going to give it the extension wing. We're going to give it the playground. We're going to give it the... Oh, we're going to give it the clinic. Let's see. We're going to give it the clinic. All right, cool. We can figure out what to do back there later. All right, so that takes care of Pearl Brook. Um, let's go back over here. Education. Uh, rail Yard Elementary is full. All right, so this one is Emerson Terrace. This one is Emerson Terrace. All right, so this one is also going to um, switch out. So, hey guys, we're closing your school and building you a new one. Maybe. Alright, um... the high school over and then we're going to delete these pylons I put the new elementary school here <coughs> I'm going to say you're for here I'm going to give you the extension playground 
and the medical clinic. This is rail yard elementary. And then we need to reestablish our electricity action. We're gonna go that. All right, turn things back on. Schools. This urban elementary school is completely full. Now upgrade it. This urban high school is full and ready for its upgrade. Yes, everybody be happy. Um, this one here is completely full. This one here is com almost completely full. So these are that's a high school. Okay, so this is Bedford and all right. This college is almost full. All right, let's see here. I'm going to need to put another one somewhere. Maybe here. I think I've got a bunch of parks there, a right? Advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road okay. Please exercise. We will immediately say that this one is only for here. Until conditions improve. So be a local public service. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look Number two. Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on second moon. All right. Go ahead and just knowing we're going to need this in the future, just pop that in. Pop that in. A housing shortage is driving up prices. And then we also I'm pretty sure needed a high school, right? That's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So, a housing... Yeah. Oh, this one's also providing for Meadow Acres. All right, so... We'll have another one. We can fit it, like, right over here. Which are entirely apart from the actual rewards in Detroit. For example, consider capital. Right. Don't really want it to be off this road, but... Don't have much of a ch oh, there we go. Certain metrics, perhaps, yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But while we are this will be for Bedford End. Thank you, Professor. This will be number two. This just I didn't add. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect right. delays on the major. So now let's go back to schools. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. All right. It's worth slowing down. Are we ready? And if you can, plan your trip outside. Look at those. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything. All right, these are for Sunnyside and Meadow. This one's only Sunnyside, so we need another elementary school for Sunnyside. Don't like getting rid of this uh, arc, but... We do need the education. Alternatively, let's see where else might we place it potentially? Oh, does another one fit like right next to this one? That'd be funny. Totally does. Be sunny side number three. 
And then we will go ahead and upgrade him. Alright. So, that should be helpful. Going back to school stuff. Alright, I think that's it for there. If we go over here... This one is almost full. This one is almost full. That one is almost full. So these are all... Oh, this one could be upgraded though. Okay. Let's upgrade this one. Alright. This one is serving who? It's serving Blackwood Park. And... Blackwood Park and Beach. Blackwood. Oh, back here. Okay. I see. All right. Let's say. We're just going to kind of be like a school campusy area. So um, we'll put another one here. This will be a small one. This is kind of nonsensical, but. The alternative, well, I think we have such a need for schools that the nonsensical becomes the practical. So we plop that guy there, and um, I will say that this will be for, for sure Blackwood, and I think Park. I think that's what makes sense to me. I mean, that leaves us room to upgrade with the uh, extension wings in the future. Oh, hi, uh, Nilo RX. Good to see you in the chat. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so this school here is full, but hopefully this new one here helps. Um, this one... I just expanded. So coming over this way. This one is just about full. This one is just about full. Oh, can this one be extended though? What is this? Oh, the library. Alright. This one is full. Alright, so... And then this one over here. The college. It's just about full. Alright, um... I don't think we can fit an extension wing here, but maybe? I doubt it though, I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh, look at that. So we'll pop, we're actually gonna put one and two. See if that helps. All right, how is it? It's going well, Nilek RX, it's going well. Um, just finishing up with my mods to the city, just wanted to kind of take a look, not mods in the sense of like using game mods, but anyway. Uh, just taking a look at education before we stop for a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade the high school. Alright, so here we've got a small school that is full already. So we can build an extension wing right next to it. Oops. Alright, no, that was my alarm to start working on uh, dinner. Just out there with the X. Without the X. Just without the X. Okay. So I see. Alright. Um, this school is almost full. This one is Millway. Although this one's serving a lot of... We might have to start like trimming these down. Some of these are serving way too many areas and it makes it a little complicated to see exactly what's going on. Oh, this one's destroyed by weather. So we build that guy. I have to click on it again or something? Why can't I rebuild it? There we go. Alright. You from the us. I... I don't know if you're doing some kind of meme thing. Unfortunately, I have gotten to the age where I'm kind of out of touch with that stuff. Uh, I don't really pay attention to that stuff anymore. 
I've come to terms with the fact that I'm getting uh, a bit older. All right. Um, so Johnson and Glenn is going to need another set of schools. So we will pop those in, and I think that'll be it for now. Let's see. Oh, us? Like, you and me? Or U.S., like the United States of America? Is that what you're saying? U U.S., like United States of America? Oh, okay, USA. Yes, yes, I'm from the USA. Yep. I don't know what else you might expect from this accent. I don't even know what accent I have, I, being my own voice. Um, all right, so I want to... You know what? I think we could just... can place the schools up here because... What the heck? Oh. Okay. Yeah, and we've got space here because the new schools are smaller. So, and we'll have them facing these streets here. These are, yep, yeah, yep, we'll have it face this feet here. So, um, let's see. Well, we could fit a regular size elementary school. Let's go ahead and do that with how much demand there's been for schooling. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say that you go here. And um, this will be Jack Elementary School. And uh, all the kids, once they're old enough, will, will make jokes about, you don't know Jack, and so on and so forth, because that's how kids are. Um, this skate park... All right, I'm... Do I want to continue these? I don't think I want to continue these roads. I think we'll have another set of roads on the other side of Cooper Street. Um, oh, okay. All right. Where are you from, Nilo? Uh, I thought I had... It's set up so that chats would show up overlaid on here. Maybe I turned it off. Let me see. Now that might be in the only in the screen that shows my whole my whole name, my whole like my face here. There we go. There's your chats there. Germany. Oh, cool. Um. Uh. I have not been keeping up as much as I wanted to with the Olympics. How has Germany been doing with the Olympics? I will right, we'll put a small high school in here. Or I imagine you guys call it secondary school. Ah, it doesn't quite fit. Darn. All right. Uh, I'm just going to plop that there temporarily. We're going to grab this park, and I'm going to move it. All right. Realistically, we would not have it on the other side of this ginormous street, so I'm just going to put it there, and those houses have to rebuild. I'm sorry. Eminent domain. Something we love doing here in America. All right, and we will plop the high school right there. And we will say that this is only for this district. And this will be... Uh, and you know what? In celebration of having more than one... Uh, having someone chatting with me this time, we'll call this one Nilo High School. So Nilo High School. There you go. You've made a permanent uh, effect on my city. All right. So we've done that. Um, I think... This is the last area that I need to... Whoa! Cool! Thanks for the follow, Neil. Rock on. Uh, I'll probably be doing City Skylines again a little bit later today. Um, or maybe Bellatro. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do Bellatro or, or City Skylines again. Um, all right. Let's see here. So we've got this elementary school. It is almost full. Um, for, so Barlow Way. So let's let's open up the overlay again. And so we've got this high school up here, which is almost full. This one's for Autumn Ridge. So I imagine I made this one only for Barlow. Okay, so but Barlow is going to need another school. Uh, since I've got the problem I have to be careful with here is that I have to fix the traffic here. The traffic here has been atrocious over the history of my city. So I need to be careful. But maybe I can fit the small school here since they have the nice smaller assets. And, 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 I cannot. There's something in the way. 
I'm not sure what it is. What's in the way here? Oh, a weird path that I... Whoa, look at all these people waiting for the bus. <laughs> Holy moly. Or I guess going on to and off the, the subway. Or uh, whatever. All right, this is uh, weird. Let's... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It is nighttime over there. Um, yep, yep, yep. Uh, that makes sense. I always forget about that stuff. Um, I think I wanted to grab this guy. All right, so these pads, I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. This is weird. So we're going to do that. I do like that there's a lot of people riding the bus here. That's really cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I, I think I started something and then I, like, got distracted. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird that I did it like that. All right. So, in order to put the school here, we're going to have to move the disaster emergency shelter. Let's plop it maybe over there. And then this outdoor gym. Uh, we're going to put it over here. So, um, how is public transport in America? That is a very um, interesting question that uh, doesn't have a simple or, or, or uh, one answer. Um, so, it really, really, really depends on the um, city that you're in. Uh, let me just name this really quickly. Oh, boy. That got full right away. They really did have a need for school. Look at that. All right. Uh, we're going to call this... Um, <coughs> I don't know Biles Elementary School because Simone Biles, the gymnast in the Olympics right now. Wow, this is more than half full already. Um, so, whoopsie daisy, there we go. Um, so, public transportation in America, it depends. So, if you're in New York City, um, a lot of people do complain about the public transport there. Um, but it's reliable and basically 24-7. There are a few lines that don't run um, all day long. And, you know, or I guess I should say all night long. But generally speaking, um, any time of night, any time of day, you can get on the train and get to anywhere within Manhattan. Once you get to the outer boroughs, it's a little bit spotty. Like if you go out to Brooklyn or Bronx, any of the places you might have heard if you're either familiar with American geography or, or American rap. Um... Uh, those places you might have to take a bus or something like that um if you're talking a city like chicago like right in the middle of chicago it is um pretty good there's pretty decent um metro but then as you get away from the city center not so much um i live uh, near washington dc you know our capital here um in the city itself it's it could be better, but it's kind of bad. But like going out to the suburbs in Maryland and Virginia, it is it doesn't extend as far out as I think it should in order to be useful. Uh, but then again, we are not very densely populated here. Like it's very suburb suburban, so that does make it a little harder to do the um, the uh, value proposition for for uh, metro. Right when you're doing metro, you want a nice. Um, close together city the other problem we have here so i haven't been to germany um i've been to the uk and you know the uk has trains everywhere again people who live there complain about it oh it's not that good but but you can pretty much get anywhere when i was there i didn't have a car and i i just would take the train and i went to um like uh um uh, shoot Bradford, and I went to, you know, London, and I went to all these different places uh, on the train. The problem in America is that um, our train tracks share the same train for the passenger rail and the cargo rail. And even though cargo is supposed to give priority to passenger, it often doesn't. Um, and so in practice here, um, and again, America being huge, right? Like I... It's hard to say because of the distortion of maps, but I, I believe probably as big or bigger than all of Europe put together, right? So mostly you end up flying around. Smaller cities, um, it's gonna be buses if anything. Um, so I'm in a small city and uh, like our bus stops don't have covered, um, covered places to sit. Uh, sometimes they don't even have sidewalk. You're kind of like standing on the grass. So it kind of discourages a lot of people from doing it. 
Um, I, part of the problem here in America is that a lot of people, they don't want um, to do anything that makes it easy for people without a lot of money to live near them. Um, so they tend to be opposed to um, like big apartment complexes or good public transit because then they think that allows people who can't easily afford having cars will live near them. Um, part of that is, um, you know, uh, part of that is is to keep the value of their houses high. And part of it is um, just rooted in a mixture of classism and racism here um, because general, whoa, um, that is a weird texture thing happening here. Uh, maybe it's a dust storm. I don't know what's happening here. Um, so yeah, there's like this mixture of that where people kind of like, like, well, we know you're more likely to be poor. You're more likely to be, you know, this way or that way. And so they kind of like put the two together. And so there's a lot of stuff like that where we, we end up, I don't know if you must, you must in Germany, assuming you're still here, you haven't responded in a while, but you must have a similar phrase to what, you know, we have in English, you know, you cut off your nose to spite your face. Um, there's definitely a lot of that that happens where, um, you know, people, they just uh, will, in, rather than allow there to be more um, equity, they'll just like shut stuff down. Um, this person wrote this famous book about it that came out, I want to say in the last year, where like there was a city. So, you know, in America in the 50s and 60s, we were we were like spread out between, you know, um, black Africans and Caucasians. And uh, one of the cities, the judge said, you guys have to integrate. You can't have two separate things like that anymore, right? And so you have to allow everyone to use the same pool. And the city was so against that that they just put dirt in the pool and they said, nobody gets the pool now. <laughs> so there's a lot of that where people are like, we are so entrenched in not wanting other people to be able to use what we're using that we would rather nobody gets to use it. Um, so that that ends up, you know, like I said, ends up causing problems where um, people oppose uh, mass transit because they think, well, that'll allow other people to use it. Um, another famous example um, in New York City, um, the originally uh, to get out to some of the very desirable areas like um, Long Island and stuff like that to go to the beaches, um, you had to either own a car, which only rich people did, or you could take a bus. And so uh, Robert Moses, who designed most of the parks and um, stuff like that in New York City from about the 1930s to the 1960s, famously um, made the bridges so that the buses couldn't cross the bridges into those desirable areas, just specifically to keep out the poor people. And in some cases, you know, African-Americans as well. So, you know, again, there's a lot of stuff where like they're hurting poor people who are, you know, you know, but they're like, well, but we really don't want this other element here, you know? So, uh, as someone who's, uh, extra stops. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, we, we, um, I, I actually enjoy taking mass transit a lot. Whenever I'm in New York city, that's my favorite thing to do because you don't have to look for parking. Um, you don't have to worry about, um, someone breaking into your car or anything like that. Not that it's that horrible in New York like it was in the 80s, but, um, you know, it's still nice not to have to worry about anything except your your, your person. Um, but, uh, yeah, exactly. So, you know, uh, no one can see the chat. You just said you don't own a car. Um, you don't, you know, I like that you don't have to own a car if you live in a city with good mass transit. Um, here, that's impossible. If you don't own a car where I live, then um, you can't get to work. Like you, you basically, that means that someone else is taking care of you, whether that's your spouse or your parents or, or something, right? Like there's just, there's no, there's no other way around it. Uh, and then again, here near where I live, um, it's not a requirement to have sidewalk everywhere. So sometimes only one side or no side of the street has a sidewalk. So there's been times where I've been driving to work and it's the winter time, you know, up, up here up north. So it's darker in the morning and I've almost run over people who were walking on the street because there's no sidewalk. Um, so that's that always upsets me because 
if I do hit somebody, not only is it going to be traumatic for me, not only is someone going to lose their life, um, but but also I'm, it's it would be my fault. So I would potentially, you know, go to jail or whatever just because they didn't want sidewalks. Um, so, wow, you really got me on my soapbox. I was going to go do something, but uh, uh, good questions. Good questions all. Um, all right. I think I'm going to call it. Uh, I've got some stuff to do. I'm going to make um, homemade pizza later today, so I want to make sure that um, I can... Uh, the dough has time to rise uh, before dinner time. And uh, anyone... So there's th supposedly three viewers. Um, oh, Germany ticket, 50 bucks. That's amazing. That's amazing. I think it's really cool. Um, I think that's cool uh, that, that, it's, that it's so cheap. Um, but yeah, so the other two viewers, assuming... Sometimes I feel like uh, Twitch tells me there's more people watching than there actually are, especially, and I don't know when people are being uh, are being quiet. Um, I'll be back in a few hours. I'm gonna, like I said, work on the dough for my pizza. I'm going to do a couple chores, and then I'll probably be back. Um, and it'll either be City Skylines again or it'll be Bellatro, but you know, uh, you'll see on the notification or whatever. Uh, and then last thing I'll say. I think I might have this somewhere in my Twitch profile, but um, uh, I, I take all these and I archive them by putting them on YouTube, so um, we can we can see that stuff. You can see that stuff later if you miss it. So, um, so I'm up to 183,000. That's pretty good. This is the biggest city I've had. It kind of crawls a little bit on my computer, as you saw, but not horrible. Um, thanks for for being here, Nilo. Thanks to the other two people watching. Um, quietly as <laughs> potentially um and i'll see you next time goodbye